like to call a meeting of physical services to order. Any discussion from the floor? Hearing none, I'll, I'll move on. Uh, do we have a monthly report? Uh, yeah, I'll apologize for wounding a tree this month. In the future, I'll try to get them to you electronically, but these are uh, just getting finished up today. This was just a sample.
Do you want to say something, or is it just I'll a do second? that too? Okay. All right. Or I'll sponsor, or I'll second. All right. Well, second in, in the yes. As as the three amigos here yes. sit on the board, we can explain. Uh, there was a resolution some time ago that paid the board members fifty dollars a meeting, okay. which just is probably a uh, nightmare for person or you know payroll to do that. So last year when they were developing the budget, I think it was Jim uh, Post, who was chairman, had suggested why not just do a, 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 a and the meetings were just going, we were meeting every other uh, two weeks. So we just said, make it a flat deal and um, you know call the day and do it in quarter. Does that say do it in quarterly basis? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> just an explanation, that was the okay. reason. Anybody else have any questions? So we'll move it to full board. Okay, we'll move it to full board. Rather, resolution authorizing the county executive to sign a community development block grant, disaster recovery, and admissible memorandum of understanding county executive. Uh, I believe this is a cooperation uh, between the town of Amsterdam, town of Florida, and our public works to replace culvert pipes to in, enlarge them, I believe. Okay. Sponsor in a second. All right. Do I hear any discussion? Any questions? No questions. We'll move it to full board. All right. Firms 
to fulfill duties of deputies not being met by the current candidates. And saying that, before I ask for a uh, sponsor and a second, <clears throat> I'd like to hear from my, <clears throat> my committee members. Mr. Quackenbush. Um, I do know that in our discussions we talk about, um, I mean, it looks like you've done a little bit of research here, Terry, on the backgrounds or whatever. I do know that in our discussions we talked about someone having an engineering background, qualification or Correct. background, and you're saying that that hasn't been met. No. And I thought that was just in one of those positions. Is that right? Correct. We we actually purposely put the engineering position in to raise the bar on the position to make it more of a, a professional level. And then and in doing that to recruit somebody, we we added twenty thousand dollars. I would um, you know, I'm not going to say that, you know, there's a lot of one, two, three, and four, and I haven't had a lot of time to really look this over, but when you get into the ethicals and all this stuff, I'm not gonna go there. I certainly would, um, the spot, the, the, uh, the resolution that you, you're looking at is asking for eliminating the Deputy Commissioner of Highways and Deputy Commissioner right. Building and Grounds. Uh, I would sponsor or co-sponsor with you, but I would do that under the thought that we were going to run this over into our personnel committee, eventually into finance because that's where it belongs, and eventually Paul Barker, I really think it needs to be, I'm not just going to go off on a whim with it, right. it's got to be done. I was actually going to ask if uh, if uh, you feel more comfortable doing a, a review and putting it through personnel, giving it to personnel. I mean, you've done this review. We're discussing it here tonight. After right. tonight, if we can move it over, if we did this, and I don't know, maybe we shouldn't be talking because it's not really a resolution yet. Well, you're under discussion. Just discussion. Then we pass it over to personnel where they can look into the personnel committee and chair could actually look into some of the things that you talk about in one, two, three, four. And then finally, a decision by the full board or at least the finance. Okay. And I'm not saying that that has to be done. This month with it. It can be put into personnel because okay. that committee's next week. I don't know if that can be accomplished in that shorter period. I think the month would be. Yes, Mr. Royce. Uh, yeah, I'd just like to, uh, so I could look over your, um, if I can get a copy of that statement at some point in, in the resolution, just to look it over before next week. Thank you. Anyone else? Yes. I would just say, uh, you know, it's only, we've only been a month there with the, the new position, the new reorganization of DPW. And the uh, reason one that I would oppose something like that, reason two is that I would feel that uh, the reorganization thing was up to our executive and it's, he created the positions with things in mind and uh, if, he, if he feels it's not satisfactory, then I would leave it up to him. I agree with what Roy saying, and I have faith in the county executive to do the right thing. My biggest concern here out of all that that's been presented is the engineering part of it, because that was really going to, that was really what we were triggering. <clears throat> just because I'm taking it based off what you're saying, that the person there now doesn't have that. If that's the case, I, my mindset in the budget was that's what we were doing in that position. As far as the other position, I mean, I'm, that's up to, you know, I, I'm not going to, okay. for me, it was more about the engineering. Okay. I just want to add one thing that's going to sound promotional, but um, if it seems like you've done a little research into this, and I know you mentioned a possible ethics code violation, one thing I would just add, having worked on that with, with uh, Chairman Kelly, if, if there is something that you believe is there, I would um, encourage you to write that up and, and possibly file a letter with the Ethics Board and follow that through with that process. Anyone else? Yeah, just, it, sound, it 
sounds like um, there was some some miscommunication mm -hmm. with respect to to the way the job was being created. And of course, I'm having flashbacks to the beginning of the year when I thought I experienced the same thing with creation of a position. But I think there's a good uh, lesson here with with respect to um, to the budget process. And, and, and I, I hope that going going forward, um, rather than meet just with uh, somebody who chairs a committee and, and me and the executive to discuss portions of the budget, I think we should really uh, engage in, in, in a more comprehensive budget review, um, whereby the legislature does, in fact, um, talk to department heads and have them uh, defend their, their budget proposals. So I think some something good can come from whatever was, and I'm not up to speed exactly on, on what is going on. Here. Right. But I think the, the lesson we learned is, is certainly to, <coughs> when we make the budget, to, to be better informed. And um, that's something that we, we need to take heed. Barbara? I, I've spoken to you about this. Right. And I would have no problem having it come to the personnel committee. And then, in full disclosure, what I had planned to do was then have it go to budget and finance. So it would have been all nine of us um, that it would have gone to because Terry and I have had a chance to speak about this. And it was um, a fiscal services issue, but it was also right. a personnel um, thing. So Now, I, excuse me, I, I, I think I would like a review, uh, you know, maybe the budget process, the communication wasn't there, or I didn't uh, articulate good enough what what I felt the uh, department or the two positions should be. Uh, I thought I did, but uh, maybe I didn't. But I, I think maybe we need to review how we do create jobs, uh, make sure that we're all Working, working together. Uh, I certainly, if this, if these two positions were going to be promotional, then that's what they should have been. Uh, I just had another idea, so uh, I would like to uh, sponsor a resolution to move it to personnel. If I can have a second for a, a, a review. Yeah, I'll second the resolution. And okay. Then, then as a committee will move it over. Okay. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Are we good with that? Okay. Very, very good. Anything else? I just have a quick question in regards to the smart walk contract. Um, one of the towns in District 4 um, <clears throat> asked me at their meeting last night. They're, they're looking at uh, possibly doing some energy efficiency upgrades to their town barn and uh, they were talking about whether there were financial uh, programs out there to do things like that. Right. Um, and I had mentioned that we were moving forward with SmartWatt and uh, they had asked if I, I thought it was something that made a lot of sense. I know we last month passed the resolution to move forward with that, um, but in approaching the deadline for the government efficiency grants. I don't know if that's something that could be included or if under that contract there's any possibility for piggybacking or whatever the term is for towns to participate in the program or something like that. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if, if Paul could could look yeah, into I, that. This is the first I'm hearing about it, so I can one check with uh, National Grid to see if, uh, and with SmartBot to see if it was something that they would be interested in. Um, but I think, you know, face value, I think it would be easy enough to actually have just finishing up the contract now to get to the executive to sign that it hasn't been signed yet. So I think it would be easy enough for me to add a clause allowing other municipalities within the county uh, to participate. So, and if the committee so choose, I'd love to respond to this, uh, give you my side. Uh, 
situations are in the real world. Not what we hope could happen. And the facts of the matter are, uh, rules and procedures were followed. Uh, the candidates who accepted the positions did meet the requirements, and there were no ethical violations. I would look forward to a discussion to the Ethics Committee to talk about that. And I think we need to remain focused on facts and we chose the best out of the qualified candidates we have, and we needed to move forward. Um, we don't have the luxury of uh, just leaving these positions open. So um, I would open um, any uh, uh, legislator to talk to me about these issues, as well as in regard to the budget process. Uh, we made ourselves available, both myself, the department heads, to any legislator for any period of time to discuss any budget. Um, we will do that same thing again this year. So I encourage everyone to, to, to take advantage of that, and we did that last time. I can't provide answers that I'm not asked the question. Um, so I am 100% opposed uh, to changing these positions. Um, one of the uh, individuals in this position hasn't even been in the position for a month. Uh, and as the county executive who was in charge of personnel matters, um, I'm confident in our team, I'm confident in these two individuals, and I think they deserve the chance to prove themselves before we go and start pulling um, the rug out from the progress that we're making um, before we've even had a chance to see how things work. So um, that to me just really stinks of the old form of government, and I like to think that we move forward in a new, more positive way and this really is discouraging because we're really making some positive changes at the county. And unfortunately, I feel here personal feelings are getting in the way of seeing the progress that we're making. Um, and I'd be more than happy to discuss this with any of you at, at great length. Uh, but I think this sends a bad, wrong message to our county employees, um, especially those who are taking on new positions and new responsibilities um, and, and taking the work out from them right in the beginning. So uh, I just wanted to note for the record publicly that I, I am absolutely opposed to this. I think this is, uh, you know, if, if I make a poor personnel decision, I will be held accountable by the voters. And that is how this new government works. And uh, I don't think if there's a, dis we're going to have disagreements amongst the legislature. Uh, you're not going to agree with every decision I make. But are you going to go ahead and then eliminate a position every time you don't agree with who is in that position? I think you're setting a dangerous uh, standard here. And I think uh, I think we need to rise above this and move forward in, in a positive way. And at the very least, give these two individuals six months, at least, to see what they can do. You've got a monthly report here of what we're doing. There's been new expectations and responsibilities set on these individuals. And I am the type of person that's going to be positive and supportive and work with these people so we can get the job done. Did it work out exactly like we planned? No, but that's luck. We chose from the qualified people uh, that we had, and I feel like we made the best decision we could with the situation we had. Um, and, and I'll leave it as an open invitation if anyone would like to talk to me about this. Uh, and, and moving forward, uh, I'd be more than happy. I hope my point wasn't too nuanced. I thought it was quite clear. I, th I think that, that that budget system is flawed in, in and of itself, and I was and I stated that before this particular issue, which I'm not even aware of, uh, came up. And I was hoping that we, as we go forward uh, uh, next year, that that there will be more board involvement at the time that that the decisions are being made about what the proposed budget will be. Right. And um, I don't even I'm not even aware of what these other issues are. I was looking for a more traditional form of budget review. After all, that's our main responsibility here at, at, at the county legislature, and not personnel. But certainly the power of the purse is, resides here. Okay. Uh, Tom? I just heard Matt say that the people that he hired were qualified for the position. Okay. Um, and I don't believe I ever saw the job specs, but we talked about the engineering of that, you're comfortable with the person who's in that position. So that's why we did up the salary. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I'd be more than happy to sit down and review the, the uh, resumes that we received, the job.
job qualifications and, and, and how that process went. I'd be more than happy to talk to anyone in the legislative department. So you're, you're comfortable in saying that the, 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 yes. that one position, which is the one I'm focused on because of the upgrade and the money, that's what we were looking at, was the engineering portion of it, that that person meets that? We, yeah, we, we again, we chose the best candidate with, that were on uh, the qualified uh, resumes that were approved through the personnel department. Uh, do I wish that we had a larger pool to choose from? Absolutely. But with that said, we're dealing with uh, running this organization and moving forward. So we made the best decision we could with the situation we had. And uh, every every uh, rule and procedure was followed. Uh, they were um, uh, approved applications by the personnel department. And we made a choice based on the approved applications that we had for that position. I just want to add something that I think is relative and I just want to bring it all back to your um, everybody's mind. We haven't talked about it in a couple months, but with charter revisions going forward, I think this is one of the things that I felt so strongly about that we need to put in our charter that public officers of this county being a 50,000 person county, we need to open up our borders to adjacent counties. We would get up in the half million, potentially million population range with Saratoga, Schenectady, uh, uh, Otsego, Fulton, Herkimer, um, Schoharie, we would have a much broader uh, resource base and we could get people to come and, and that are overly qualified to do the jobs here because that's what we need and we are working with really constrained resources here. And, um, uh, you know, I hope that's something that we can entertain discussions on moving forward with the charter. Okay, anybody else? Mm -hmm. I have other things that I can discuss. Bob? Can you bring us up to date on pro pro progress with the snowplow contracts? Uh, unfortunately, we haven't met yet. Last I knew, the, the executive office was going to set up a meeting. Okay. And you'll be expecting a uh, quarterly report, the first quarter, end of the first quarter from the committee. Okay. Very good. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. A couple things. Yes. <clears throat> um, for your committee. Uh, one's just a comment.
board gets together way too often. We will talk about things that ought to be talked about by you now. That's my own personal opinion. And if need be, this legislature. And it's a, it's a great chance to move forward in consolidation. There's one of those municipalities, in my mind, that you can uh, do away with. Furthermore, it was $50 a meeting. The, the, uh, the chairman of that committee, which happens to be me this year, also receives $5,000 to chair that committee. Or it's not a committee, it's, it's a board. Of, and, you know, The, in the summer, uh, yeah, the seven fifty is less than the fifty dollars per meeting. That's why we lowered it because at the beginning of the year we're, we met three times in January. So you might eliminate that when your tenure's over. You can eliminate it. <laughs> hey, you, you can eliminate it today, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. And and you know I you know this is at one time it was ten dollars, and I didn't hold the office then. But it really, to me, um, really needs to be looked at. It is really a duplication. It, I mean, this board passes a resolution and they got to bring it to this board. We have an attorney and we have to go run it by Doug anyway. So. Well, I was going to say, should we have our county attorney look into it? Uh, the solution? Yeah. I think Doug will tell you he, he won't have to look far. Yeah. He's been well aware of it and well versed on it for years. Yes. I, I, I just don't know the how, how you do it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> is there still associated indebtedness with, with creating the uh, district? Uh, no, actually, the indebtedness was gone. Um, there's a uh, ad valorem tax that was applied to all those within the district, and that was uh, paid off. I think it was a 30-year. You know, you got to get into Sean a little bit deeper with that one. There was, uh, there may have been some more bonding or something that happened. Recently, but even even so, it's still the county that's yeah. got it. So it isn't like we're passing this on to the county. Uh, it's very very similar to um, when we had the nursing home. It was an enterprise fund, right? Doug? I mean, in, in essence, it was kind of without a board. The nursing home didn't have a board, but any responsibilities or liabilities were, were ours. This this is uh, the, the nursing home was was truly a county department. This is a slightly different creature in that it was created under some specific legislation allowing for a county sewer district uh, to serve multiple municipalities within the county. Uh, but, but certainly uh, from a duplication standpoint, much of, much of uh, what the, uh, the uh, district does ends up coming to the county for further review anyway. And, if I may say so, I think that you folks are on the right track with this thought. Yes. I'd just like to add, I know they've been investigating it um, in some other counties, and I wonder when we're discussing this, if it would be worthwhile to have discussions with um, the Fond du Fultonville Joint Wastewater Plant and the Amsterdam Sewer Board or whoever takes care of that down you know, the possibilities for uh, expansion, and I know the Fonda Fultonville plant is sort of at capacity, um, but I know other municipalities, other counties have looked at consolidating uh, water sewer at the county to encourage growth um, and economic development, and with uh, basically half of our county covered by one sewer district, whether it would be worthwhile, how difficult it would be, and if it would be beneficial to possibly have a second or third sanitary sewer district to run through the county. It may not, but it may not. Can I lose a car if it's Second. Second. Okay. I didn't say that. Yes! <laughs>